All right, so what we're doing now is we're going to take apart this glow plug relay. This is the original one that was on um, the Mercedes 300D. It's a 00254506632. And the, um, the other relay, the one I got from the junkyard, um, I can't find as much information on it. This one seems to be the more popular one. Um, they're both, well, I did find uh, some information on the other one that showed that it was used from 78 to 85. And I don't know on this one. Um, so... My thinking is the other one was naturally aspirated, and mine's a turbo, so maybe that's what the difference is. I don't know. Maybe they were slightly different, but I don't know. But I think since this one is original to the car, and we know this one was probably made in 85, and the other one was an older vehicle. So I think we're going to stick with this one and assume that they got a little better as they went along. I know the later ones had some afterglow and uh, uh, this one doesn't, but you know, maybe they got better with them. So everything in here looks pretty good. Uh, what we're going to do though is test these two capacitors that are in here. It looks like there's only two. And then we'll take a look at these uh, contacts, make sure they look good. So they actually look pretty good. I'm oh, sorry, I'm blocking your view. And then we'll also look for um, bad solder joints. spot right there. I think that's just some flux though. Yeah. It's hard to tell with this coating they put on it. So let's see. We've got a two hundred and twenty microfarad and a hundred microfarad. They're both ten volt. I would have thought they would have been higher voltage rating, but it may step the voltage down somewhere. So, overall, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm surprised I expected it to be to look a little worse. So, let's check. I might have to scrape some of this stuff off. Yeah, I'm not getting anything through that. Let me get a knife. So what we're going to do is just scrape scrape this coating off just a little bit.
trying not to block y'all's view. Point five ohms. And so if we go over to this was the let's see, this was the yeah, point five was the hundred microfarad. So if we look at our chart, hundred go up to point five. It's in the yellow so it's uh, it's not completely failed but it's definitely not that great yeah it is just border of failing so let's check the other one this one is the 220 is that right? yeah 220 This one was at 1.5, so we go 1.5 over to 220, failed. This is a bad capacitor. So we've got one that's completely failed, see 1.5 over to 220. Not only is it, so we've got one that's right here, it's failed, failed, it's not even close to being good. And then we've got the 100, which was at 0.5, which is right here at, at, you know, very weak. So these two capacitors are bad, and I'm not, you know, if I'm replacing the one, I'm going to replace the other one, even though, well, even if it tested good, I'd go ahead and replace it. So we're going to pull these two out. Uh, I'm going to have to get some replacements first and uh, we'll pull those out and this is a ESR uh, meter and it is a uh, you could pull them out and test them with a voltmeter but uh, this does real good in circuit it's a EDS Dash 88A, and I don't think they make these new anymore. I picked this one up on eBay, but there's other uh, manufacturers of ESR meters. So we're gonna. Um, I'll pick up two capacitors, and I'll probably. These are only 80 volt or uh, 85 degree uh, Celsius capacitors. I'll pick up some uh, uh, stronger uh, high temp capacitors if I can get them and put them in. But this goes to show you, you know, normally um, a definite sign of failure would be if they were bloated or if the tops had popped off or the tops were leaking but um, these aren't and so you know that's you know if you saw that it's a definite indicator that the capacitor has failed but if you don't you know if you see one that looks good you know you can't always tell by looking you know you, you really need to test them so we'll pick up I'll pick up two capacitors and we will um, pull these two out and put the new ones in and then we'll test it. Now that's not saying for sure that this would fix any issues that this thing has. Um, these contacts look good and I probably won't mess with them. Um, I'll check them with the voltmeter and make sure that when you know they make contact make sure that they um, they're conducting through. As long as that's true, then we're not going to mess with these. They they don't look dirty. They don't look burnt. They look quite nice. So I'm not going to mess with them. And then 
I'll probably get a magnifying glass. It's hard to see with this stuff on, this coating on there, but I think with a magnifying glass, I can probably see if there's any cracks on any of the solder joints. And we'll just check that real good. It's just a bubble there. We might re-solder that. Yeah. Looks a little suspect there. And I'm guessing that's probably a um, high current spot there. Let's see, that's going to... So I think... So here's your input, I'm assuming. And these would be the control wires. One of them, I'm sure, is temp. The other one's the um, from the ignition. And you might have a ground. And I don't know what the other one would be. But then you have your five glow plugs. And then you've got your input. So it's pretty simple. They um, yeah. Anyway, that's it. And we'll get it. Um, We'll get this thing repaired up and see if it works. But, you know, I haven't tested any of my glow plugs yet, so I could have some bad glow plugs as well. But we at least know that this relay has two bad capacitors. So we know that that's going to need to be addressed, and we'll fix that up, and all the other components look, look good. And so... Uh, capacitors are normally going to be the thing that's going to go bad. I don't see anything else in there that looked burnt or anything. And so just to make sure we don't lose anything, we'll put this back together. Because I'm not sure when I'll get to go get the two capacitors. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope you find this interesting. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And soon I will have a video up. Uh, or when I repair this, I'll post a video up. Thanks for watching.